G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat Snacker's Yard and a big orange screen. Um, this is the tank after probably one and a bit, a half probably pushing it. And what's that, 400 mil? Um, there's nowhere near enough coverage in those cans. I can't remember how many cans I got when I did the uh, ZX6R tank, but there's just, yeah, there's nowhere near enough in there. So, you know, as I suspected, I'm just going to have to buy some, uh, well, either more spray cans or frankly, I think I'm just going to get the paint and paint gun it on. It's just thicker. Um, uh, I will never bat. I mean, I even went light in the middle strip knowing that I'd be um, putting black down there. But um, it's just, I'm never going to bad mouth rattle cans because, you know, you can get a lot out of them. And indeed I do. But for something big like this, and I've got the facilities, it's kind of daft not to. Um, so yeah, pain in the butt, but phew, so what? It just means, and it, today is Sunday, I am back to kind of real time, so I can't get any today because the shop shut. Um, but um, I'll give them a tinker when I sort something out in the week. Um, what I can do, though, is sort out the belly pan. Right, so that's a belly pan off. This is not my finest work, but they work. <laughs> uh, so that's my my homemade brackets, and it's just you know a strip of steel, uh, hole, hole, and a riv nut at the back, um, just to save putting a washer in. Must get some number fours, and that you've run out. Um, yeah, so that's some primed up, and I'll chuck some black on them uh, in a second. And then we're going to have a look at this front of the bike, I think. Right, my usual bike bondage set, set up. And I'm looking at these forks. Now, how to explain this. This is a thought process that's been led on by uh, Charlie's CB200, I think, more than anything else. I'm always going to be going black on those. Now, Charlie's got a... Charlie at the Motorcycle Rescue has got a CB400 that he's been pushed down a certain direction on it because it's already been painted, so the fork's already been painted silver. I don't think I want to do that. And I don't think I want to go black. Uh, I'll tell you for why, because whoever buys this is then forced to stay black and to maintain it. Now, if you're going to put colour on your forks, you really need to powder coat them paint just doesn't last and they take a lot of abuse at forks um, and I don't want to powder coat these probably should but no I don't think the bike actually merits it to be honest so I'm going to go for a polish I think uh, just to get them looking better so I'll take the mud guard off I'm going to strip everything else off and get on with my polishing and I will show you how I do that and regular viewers will know how I do it but um but yeah, uh, let's get on with stripping the brakes off and everything else. Right, so here I am rammed at the back of the garage, uh, which isn't ideal, but it works. Uh, familiar setup from some, I would have seen this before, uh, with my angle grinder and polishing pads. So it's polishing pads like that, I think they're what, four inch polishing pads. Uh, it is um, like, uh, fiber compressed uh, bit of mothers I'm running desperately low of this stuff Jesus I have to get some more um, I've got gloves on just because this stuff's mucky rather than it's toxic or it's going to cause me any harm it's just very greasy when it gets on your skin um, I also have off shot my headphones because this is loud and I am indoors. We'll try and remember to turn off the badger. I've got an old pad on to start with um, because I'm going over the old ship first. Right, let's get those cleaned up a bit then. Right, and there we go. Uh, dog's back. Maybe. 
you doing? Dog supervising. No, just chilling. Um, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. It's just taken some of that tarnish off. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect. There's still tarnish on it. It's a 20-year-old bike, but it's better, and it goes in with the rest of the fork. Happy. Um, like I said right at the beginning, I could have just blacked it, but I'm condemning the uh, future buyer down a path they might not choose. Or they might just black it themselves. No idea. Right. We're getting there. Um, just might see if those um, uh, hangers for the belly pan. God, what's wrong with me at the moment? Um, a dry and then get that belly pan back on. I might have to trim it slightly because it is just catching the um, <coughs> the side stand, um, but I'll do that as well, I think. That's back on. I'm gonna chuck a bucket of water over it. I've got the belly pan back on as well. I've taken a slight nip out of it, which you're not gonna be able to see, but now the side stand doesn't catch it. Um, I'm just about to chuck a bucket of water over this actually because uh, it's all dusty and crap from all the sanding yada 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 but looking at where I poured all that fuel not a mark not a mark it's stripped the polish off it feels you know not as smooth as where it's had a little wax on it although saying that it's got cast off from the uh, um, primer uh, on the base but yeah that's fine Pro XL is petrol proof wrong petrol resistant I'm sure if you pulled enough on it would strip it off eventually uh, right let's get a bucket of water right so while the dog prowls uh, I've chucked some water over it um, uh, looks a lot better I've also whipped off um, the pedals and the shin uh, not the guards um, mostly because I've got this car stuff on them uh, I'm gonna give them a good clean and then think about what to do with them whether I polish them up or black them out the problem with blacking out is that there's a lot of wear on that piece. Um, and I'll see if I've got any of that truck bed liner that I did this on because it's strong stuff. Um, I'll have a think, I'll have a think, but they need to clean up first more than anything else. Uh, I'm not going to do that now because we're about to head out. So, um, a bit of a wanky one, I'm afraid, people. Um, we've discovered what? Uh, we've discovered that uh, Pro XL is as as fuel resistant as it reckons. Uh, we've discovered that cans don't come close to spray guns, uh, so if you've got a spray gun, use that. Uh, I could just get more cans and keep going, but frankly, I want the depth of color, so I'm gonna get some proper paint. Uh, we've discovered that those forks actually look okay. Not brilliant, but certainly good enough. Uh, good enough for what I'm after. Um, if I was gonna do it properly, they would be powder coated. I do need to find a powder coat around here and just go down that route at some point. But I just wanted to do what I can do myself on this one. <sighs> That'll do me. Bit of a crappy one, sorry all. <laughs> a little bit of a damp squib. Um, but we'll get back onto full flow on the next one. Um, the project throughout the week is gonna be sorting those out, I think, getting them bolted back on, uh, getting the bolts cleaned up. Um, as well. I've just chucked them back on so I don't lose them more than anything else when I push the bike away. That'll do me. Thanks very much all and I'll catch you later. Ta-da. Look at that. I've got them done. Uh, around other stuff. So I did go for a bit of a clean. I didn't like the look. So it's just gone black. And I like that. I did have enough of the truck bed liner left. Um, so it's good and hard wearing stuff. It isn't just going to rub off the first time a heel hits it. Which is good. I think we're getting there. Now all I've got to do is sort out that tank. <laughs> Nothing major. <laughs> Cheers all.